Closet Six is known. We're not gonna fake and act like Closet Six is like some undercover thing that don't nobody know about. Uh, Closet Six is known. What do you want people to know about the brand or whatever? Like, you know, when they approach Closet Six, when they think Closet Six, what do you think they should? Uh, what's the first thing that should pop to their mind? That's a great question. I say first, number one, um, as somebody who is the the owner, that the owner is someone of a, of faith. Most importantly, I kind of had to take this time earlier this year to kind of rebuild the foundation of who I am and what my business s stood for. And I feel like I had to I had to do it in my faith and kind of understand what my purpose was, especially when um around leaders of men, someone like Zaire. And like I said, I've been in been in it with him for 10 plus years. So understanding and this is something I appreciate about Zaire and his leadership, like his attention to detail him understanding he can't communicate to everybody the same way to get the best out of him. Um, shout out to Z, I, I, remember, <laughs> I remember being in the C gap, <laughs> running back 236 to collide or whatever, foot stuck in the grass, bro, mm -hmm. bro, get up. <laughs> bro, I'm hurt, bro. Like, get up. Nah, yeah, you, you know, know me the same way. I'm like, bro, my shit hurt. I know exactly what you're talking about. I know exactly what you're talking about. So now you like, he no, gonna kill you. He gonna kill you with that one more play, one more play. Facts. <laughs> like, what you mean, one more play? They just got first down, nigga. <laughs> Facts. I'm saying that. Nah, yeah. Um, but just kind of appreciate the op or just understand the opportunity I have to work with the people that I do. So. I think me being in my faith and if I can spread the gospel or kind of be somewhat of an influence mm -hmm. in my space, imagine what somebody like Zaire can do. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Um, being a captain of a team in the NFL, global brand, um, being a part of so many different things. He was nominated for, you know, Walter, Player, Walter Payton Player of the Year, um, Teammate of the Year. What is it? Uh, man of the Year. Yeah, man Walter of the year. Payton, Man of the Year. Of the year. Right. But just being able to to be in contact with somebody like that and if I can give them any bit of a piece that I've learned mm -hmm. that I've that I've received if I can pass that forward mm -hmm. like the impact that he can have yeah so I feel like the clothes is cool um the friendship the connection is definitely better but if we can kind of move that forward and multiply disciples that's number so one so basically you want closet six when you think of closet six you want it to stand on brotherhood doing things the right way being within you for know sure, what I mean being sure. within faith you know what I mean like mm -hmm. And and just treating people with the utmost respect, exactly. as you said that Z does. Love, of course. So um, so yeah. Now we about to start giving our free game, like Let's you know what it. I mean. We Ooh. got right in on the. All right. So when you go pick out a fit, what's hey. the most important? Is it the shoes? Is it the pants? Is it the shirt? Or is it? I mean, we're not gonna talk accessorizing because it's a must that you accessorize everything that you put on. Okay. So um. Excuse us. What is it? <laughs> what right, is so, it? So so my perspective going into it is, one, I was an athlete. At a that played at a high level, right? So you understand that what goes into it. Mm -hmm. So like Z said, he's trying to become a better man, um, better father, better player. You know, take care of what the keep the main things the main things, right? So he's prepared on all counts. So my job is to make sure he has that same confidence when he goes through the tunnel. Then when the smoke comes up, like it's time to go. You feel me? So I want you to have that same confidence that you've built in yourself through reps and prep of in practice in a weight room in the off season. So now when you get dressed, it just rolls over. So that's that's mm -hmm. my perspective of it. So it's not necessarily the fit is about what I like or what I think looks best on me. Mm -hmm. It's about what fits Zaire. How does he feel this week? So if he's a guy that's, that think that shoes is important, you gonna make sure that his shoes is the... For sure, whatever he wants mm -hmm. is what I'm gonna do. Mm -hmm. You know what so I'm saying? So, so, so I think it's a it's a great point to kind of touch on like mm -hmm. what a stylist is or what do they do. Speed from your perspective, you was with us in New York with Vic too. Shout out Vic. Yeah. Shout out to Vic. Um, shout out to Vic. You've kind of seen what the experience is like, so I feel like not everyone has been in a fitting. Not every fitting is going to be the same, like Z said. Mm. But what has been your experience or your takeaways by being there, seeing the clothes on the rack, Z going through it? trying stuff on, like, what's your take on that? I felt like I was like a, a, a artist with a canvas mm -hmm. and I could paint a picture. Mm -hmm. And like you did, like I even had my fit there already Facts. that I had, but when I got in there, I was like, you know what, I can tweak this, da -da 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 -da. hold on, let me put a dash of paint here. And it was just like my own shit. So it's just like, 
I like that. And I was in a room with people that I trusted in a fashion state. Mm -hmm. So the confidence was high. I feel like I like nobody could tell me anything wrong in here because everybody understands what's going on. Right. I do I do want to co-sign that as well too. Like when you in that type of realm, I think that's a, such a good point you made. Like you in a, a room where ain't nobody going to judge you. Like you feel me about a risk that you're willing to take or an idea that you may have had. And you respect everybody's opinion in the room enough to accept their criticism and appreciate their praise. You mm -hmm. get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So I, I do think that's a good point that you just made, Speed. So sure. yeah, so yeah, that's how I looked at it. That was dope. So you did. So I feel like that that's a great point too. Yeah. I haven't thought about it that way because I feel like if I was playing, I'd probably be the same way. Like if I didn't really know what a stylist was, I would be like, no, you can't really dress because they putting it together mm -hmm. for you. And yeah. I'm kind of taking my time, my energy to put stuff together. Like this is all me. But I feel like for people to be exposed of what the experience is like, at least with me or what you've seen, like, it's not like, oh, you're wearing this. It's like, look, I curated looks that I think fit you where you are now. Um, and there's going to be stuff that you try week one in our fitting that you might not like. But then by the time week 10 come and you made we made some tweaks, you like, oh, that joint that you brought before. Like, I feel comfortable in that now. Definitely. Like we going baggier. We going this. We going in the crop. Like we bring more texture. Mm -hmm. um, you know what I'm saying? Like. Just kind of understanding that, but I feel like if more people are exposed to like what a fit in looks like, <laughs> so, me and Tim what, are not here to be serious. So, what a what, what, what a fit, what a fit in looks like though, for real. Like yeah. I feel like the um, that negative connotation around being a stylist or being dressed by someone, they say. Mm -hmm. um, I feel like it wouldn't be as much ego involved in such a me, negative. Me thing personally, it. I think everything that you do it takes some effort from both sides. You feel what I'm saying? So like you can hit the gym and you can have a weight trainer, but if you don't put in the, the work, nutrition, yep. the nutrition, the sleep, the everything that goes into weight training, I'm just putting in the perspective of weight training because I'm sure that's something that everybody understand. You dig? How good is the is the is the weight trainer? The actual, Facts. Okay. You dig what I'm saying? Rather, if you come with your own style and you can sit there and talk fashion with your stylist and everything like that, it just makes things way more easier, I feel like. And I think it, it makes things more fun and you actually enjoy having a stylist and the stylist world won't be so crazy because it's not like, hey, help just... But it's a lot of people that put a lot of negative connotation on stylists. For sure. 